Good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. I'm about to shower, put away some laundry. I'm still wearing my, I'm wearing Lulu lines. I'll have them linked below. They are the most comfortable legging. It feels like you're not wearing pants, but better. But anyways, I literally just woke up. As you guys can see, I think I have like mascara under my eye. Um, I need to wash my hair and change and get ready for the day. I don't know why I would start my vlog off like this, but today is a chill Saturday. I'm only vlogging. I normally don't vlog Saturdays because this afternoon, Quentin is trying his first hot Pilates class, and I knew you guys would kill me if you knew he did that and I didn't vlog it because I, like, we were talking about it for a vlog, but so we're doing it today. Um, anyways, I'm going to shower and put some laundry away and start looking more presentable. Just got out of the shower and I put in my It's a Tin Miracle Leave-In product. I'll also link this down below. This is like saving my hair. My hair has just gotten so dry and rough, basically. Um, I'm getting it done in like two weeks, so that'll be fine. But this stuff is an old OG, which I guess that's what an OG means. But <laughs> I've been loving it. Alright, so I am back out. I am... I'll tell you what's on the agenda for today, but I'm just going to be wearing workout clothes because I have a workout at 1, and why not? Um, this is a set from Lulu. I just got it from them. You guys will see it in an upcoming video with them. I freaking love Lulu. But these are Wonder Unders, and then, dang it, I can't remember the name of this bra, but I'll have it linked down below. Um, I actually really like it, and I think this set is super cute, so, yeah. Alright, the lighting is definitely better here, but um, it's really comfortable, and it's really good for Pilates. I'm gonna put this jacket on. Um, I love this jacket, it's from Aritzia, it's a boyfriend jacket, but I wish that I had it in black. I don't even know if they sell it in black, like this is kind of like an off color, but I still really like it, I just want the black one, you know? Um, it's really comfy though, so. Also yesterday, I went through so many of my clothes and I got rid of two trash bags full. So my friends are coming over this morning and they're gonna take them, so I just want them out. Like, I just am way too cluttered, I have too much stuff. And they can use it, so that is gone, and I feel amazing. Monday Alright, thank you. You're welcome. Just made Coco an appointment at the groomers for Monday because she is looking rough. I feel like I'm just showing you guys all my favorite products this morning. I don't really know why, but I'm finally restocked on my uh, Vital Proteins Collagen. Oh my gosh. I tried the coffee collagen. Why, is it, why do I always do this? I tried the coffee collagen. And like I liked it, but I don't. Oh, with the coffee creamer collagen, and I liked it, but I don't really um, drink creamer anyway. So like I'm fine with just the collagen peptides. A lot of you guys have been asking me because I did a deal with them on Instagram. Put these in your coffee, and then the health greens one. Uh, put that in your smoothie because those are more for smoothies, and this is more like you can't. You literally can't taste this in coffee. And there's nothing that affects my skin more positively than this. So my skin is going to be perfect because of my collagen. And there we go. And it just dissolves. Like, also, a lot of you guys have been asking, how do you get it to not clump up? It just dissolves in the coffee. Um, so if it's clumping up, I feel like you're using the wrong one. Get this one for coffee, everyone. And your skin will clear up. It's the best thing ever. Alright guys, you know the drill. Now I'm just reading. Um, I've already read this day. If you guys want a whole video of my reading routine, I already have one. But I have my coffee next to me. I have some music going, some books, Bible, all of that jazz. Um, also, wearing my favorite Ugg slippers. Oh, they're so comfy. Wow, this is like really my ideal morning. Just chilling and reading. Alright guys, so it is now almost noon. I just had a little connect group at my house. So a bunch of girls came over and it was great. I was doing a little bit of emails before that too. Um, I'm about to eat some avocado toast and then Quentin is picking me up and we're going to hot Pilates. Yesterday I was telling him I was going and how I wanted a friend to come with me but no one could and he was like, I could go. So this is Quentin's first Hot Pilates class, you guys have been commenting and like in the Facebook group too, saying you really wanted to see him go. So, Coco's toys in the background, I was like, what is that? Um, so we're finally doing it today. It's really gonna be interesting. We're taking it from Lacey. I love her. Um, she also like teaches at Equinox and stuff. I think that, Quinton used to work at Equinox, so I think that they know each other, but yeah, he's on his way. Coco's right here. I'm gonna answer some emails and eat this avocado toast. And then we're gonna head out, and it's gonna be really great. Quentin just picked me up. This is 
pre hot Pilates, how are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. I feel like I need to crush a whole bottle of water before I go. I'll get us waters and Celsius drinks. So I know I talk about hot Pilates in every single vlog, so it's really annoying. But if you guys are just coming because Quentin's going to this class, basically it's a it's only 50 minutes now. Um, minute class, it's Pilates. Lacey is actually more like technical Pilates. And Daylight, who I normally take from, is like Pilates, but like it's more fun and like dancey. Laces are still fun, but they're like, it's like true Pilates. I don't know how to describe it. Excited. Lacey and I go way back. Way back. So, um, Laces are still really fun. Like, I just mean that Daylight's like style is more like a little bit more laid back. I don't know how to describe it. But, anyways, Lacey's great. We're gonna get water and Celsius drinks. And it's gonna be really great. Um, oh, and you do like band work, you do weights, you do magic circle. I'm actually the worst at Lacey's class out of all of them. So like, I'm not, you won't see me shine, but I'll take you to Daylight's class as well. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be great. Quentin has been asking to take a Pilates class with me since May. Oh, it's been I so long. That. It's I did long. Rumble with Morgan. Before, before he did Pilates with me. I did hot Pilates with me. Yeah. So, anyways, it's gonna be great. We're gonna give you guys the full report. I can't vlog in there, obviously, um, but it's gonna be really incredible. I'm very, I'm really looking forward to this. I'm pretty excited. <laughs> we'll give you the full breakdown, the full rundown, right after this. All right, guys, we just parked. Wait, I don't think this is. Oh, it is on the right setting. We're about to go in. Parked at Pilates. What's another P word? And we're probably gonna get a Celsius, we are for sure. Parked at Pilates and we're probably getting a Celsius. Is there a purple flavor? There might be, is it grape? Who knows? Do you like grape? No, I'm an orange guy. Yeah, okay. Grape is good, but I, I like the orange. No one likes grape, so we're leaving. Bye, okay. We'll talk to you guys. We're in Pilates now, we're waiting for the class to start. I'm about to go down. Really excited. I'm ready. Mental we took, fortitude. We took the classic hot Pilates um, mirror fix that I always take. On my Instagram story, the classic Celsius. You're really living my life. I had my essential water. What we both do. This is the best Celsius for anyone who asks me. This one. Can we get the orange one? I used to drink the orange ones, but then I started to keep it all up. We just finished. Feeling great. That was really fun, but I'm not in full body shape yet. Yeah. But Ken's was killing it. It's really hard. I'm just really tough, you know. Super fit. Yep. How do you feel? I feel pretty good. I think I need to stretch more. I think Pilates is really difficult if, well, for a lot of reasons, it's very difficult, but if you're not flexible, I feel like some of the stuff I was particular about, I couldn't do. Like there's this thing we were doing with our legs and we were like doing a yeah. circle thing and I was like, I am not flexible enough to do this. But it was really hard, right? Review, difficulty level, I would say eight and a half out of ten. It's really up there. I think once I go a couple more times, because she's for sure gonna let me go back. For sure, right? One, then, we have one more class, yeah. One more class. He's gonna um, take from daylight. Her favorite person, so I'm excited for that. Lacey crushed. She she's a beast. Yeah, I was uh my form was bad a lot of the time. She helped fix it and stuff. So I yeah, it was hard. It was hard. Yeah, he's I'm just, trying to... My shirt is literally like, like drenched in sweat. It was like 30 minutes ago. We just drove all the way home, so now we're not as done. But he said it was really difficult, and now he's trying to act tough, so. Anyways, I'm so hungry. We're going to make lunch. Wait. All right, guys. Currently watching Gretchen's vlog, but I'm making lunch. I just showered. Quentin is showering right now. We're just doing our pasta, broccoli, and kale. I boiled the broccoli and kale. And then, obviously, I strain it. Then I saute it with my... I'll show you guys. I feel like I've... This vlog is really, like, my holy grails because these are products I talk about all the time. Um, it's literally, like, a day in my life of holy grails. But the Mushroom and Company um, Multi-Purpose Umami Seasoning Blend. This stuff is next level so good. It's amazing to saute vegetables with or to cook vegetables, like, anything. Like, it's just so good. And then, this is not healthy, but Quentin has been wanting this creamy tomato basil pasta sauce for like a week. So we finally picked it up. Um, well, I picked it up from my house and that's what we're gonna be having. We're gonna be trying this out. So we'll see you guys, but I'm cooking, watching YouTube. This is like one of my favorite things to do on the weekend is just cook and watch YouTube videos. Like one of my favorite hobbies now, guys. Putting on our new pasta sauce. Updates to come, people. 
All right, very exciting life events. Vegetables are almost done. Cost is good. All right, so this is our lunch. <laughs> Q is so precisely putting on some Parmesan cheese. Gotta do it, the right proportions. Yeah, there you go. We earned this cheese. We, okay, so this looks so good. I'm so hungry. It's not even funny. It's now 7 p.m. Um, we just watched movies and then for the past two hours, I've been editing a video for tomorrow. I really always have my stuff ready, but this is the what I spend in a week video. So it was like an extra video to my week and I just wanted to have it up tomorrow. So I got that done. I have a few other uploads done and just did emails and everything. I want to do a face mask or something. Quinton is currently um, picking up pizza for us, just like really close down the street. And then we're gonna eat and I think I'm gonna do a little bit of the personal q and I I asked you guys for questions on Instagram. Q went and picked up some pizza for us. Wow, this is really, I'm honestly not even hungry. And we just worked out just to eat pizza. But it's all about balance here, people. And it's also Saturday, so who cares? Coco, go away. Saturday. Saturday. I just ruined this box, and I only have one hand. Also, Merry Christmas, everyone. I think we're going to decorate the tree this week, which is very exciting. This lighting is um, could be better, but I'm going to answer some questions to end off today's vlog. Um, today is such a chill day. I really just only vlog so we could vlog the Pilates part. Um, but I asked you guys for some questions the other day on Instagram for a personal Q&A. But honestly, I get asked like hundreds of the exact same question. So I didn't really want to film another video outside of a vlog. I wanted to just add this to a vlog. Thank you for the plates, Q. Oh, wow, Parmesan. And crushed red peppers. Wow, okay, I'm gonna get like two pieces of pizza. I've never, is this like a mukbang, a mukbang? Oh, Quentin. What? I've never, oh my gosh, I think there's pineapple on our pizza. Comment down below if you guys like pineapple on your pizza. Oh, I thought there was something wrong with the pizza. I, I love pineapple on my pizza. Very upset. So basically it's like you guys are eating dinner with us tonight, except for it's really just me. If you guys don't already follow me on Instagram, it's just at Kinsey Elizabeth. I also hate hearing people chew literally more than anything in this world, so I'm not gonna do that to any of you guys. I get a lot of questions on like positive body image. I've said this before in videos. I've said this before in a podcast, um, I don't even remember what episode it was. I have a podcast, if you guys didn't know, link down below. But I think the number one thing is like, don't compare yourself. And also, like, I feel like it's such a normal thing for girls to look in the mirror and just like, completely just, what's the word, like trash themselves. I never do that. Um, and I just like, try to like, not compare myself. I feel like those are like the two biggest things that have like, been the best for me. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think that like, when you start talking, so poorly about yourself all the time like obviously it's only gonna get worse so I think that that's like the biggest thing but I don't know I'm not an expert comment down below with your tips okay this is actually something I was talking about earlier I get a lot of questions Quentin's literally sitting right here that's like what's different about your relationship with Quentin versus the previous ones I have a very unpopular opinion I wish that I didn't date anyone I don't even think I've said this to you I was talking about this earlier this morning but I wish that I didn't date anyone basically besides Quentin because it was like, not like a waste of time, but like a no waste of time, but also like, I don't know, I just think there's like, there's so many other ways to learn life lessons other than like dating people who suck. I feel like that's kind of harsh, but I feel like so often people are like, oh, I don't regret anything, like, I learned from it, whatever, but I feel like you can learn everything that you really, a majority of things that you really need to learn that you want in a relationship, honestly, just through like friendships with people. And I think that like dating people who suck, like it only holds you back. Does that make sense? Clinton's like really happy hearing this. He's like <laughs> smiling ear to ear. There's a lot of, baggage is not the right word because I wouldn't say it's baggage, but I think I could have gone without a lot of the experiences and been better off because of it. So, um, I wish that I never dated anyone basically is my boy. How tall are you? Um, okay, I'm five five and a half. Quentin is like six four, so I always say I'm really tall, but I'm not. Um, oh, okay, we, I get asked this question all the time. Quentin and I are not moving in together. Like, we will not be moving in together. People ask that all the time, and Thank it's you. just not happening. Yeah, all the time. I'm like, <sighs> we do think out a lot. Yeah. Well, they're not thinking that we live together now. I mean, some people do, just because you're here all the time, but they're saying, like, 
we're not moving in together. Um, what do you do when you feel unmotivated? When I feel unmotivated, um, I go to somewhere that like refreshes me. So Malibu, um, I'll go work out. That makes me feel a lot better. Do you have something to add? Palisades. The Palisades, that's true. Thank you. Um, I should have you always sitting behind my Q&As. You have great things to add for me. Um, the Palisades, I just go to places that like make me happy. Or I'll get coffee with like, there's a solid like, probably like three or four people in my life that if I get coffee with them and after I leave and I feel like I can take over the world. So I'll go do that. So basically, I either go to Malibu, the Palisades, go work out, or go get coffee with a friend that will motivate me and make me feel better. Can you do feedback on your latest reads, please? Um, I'm reading To Help With The Hustle by Jefferson Bethke. That book's really, really good. I'm doing this Devo that's really good that I talked about. I talked about it in this video, I think. It's, these are all linked to my Amazon shop page. I've said that before so many times, but I get so many questions about books still all the time, even with me answering this. Favorite thing about being in a relationship? Um, I think it's the fact that I'm a homebody, so like I can actually just never leave my house, which we honestly 90% of the time are at my house. And I'm still like being, I don't feel like us being together is like being social. But like I'm, I'm not by myself all the time, which I honestly don't even mind. I think that's one thing you do to relax. Like if you feel motivated, I feel Hang like you take you. an intentional like chill day. Yeah, for sure. Because sometimes you're just like, whoa. Yeah, like last weekend was the best weekend of my life. We did literally nothing. Um, and it was so incredible. Oh, you just basically always have someone to do something with. I feel like that's it. In book recommendations, I always recommend How to Win Friends and Influence People. That's a good book. It's a really good book. How did you, okay, how did you and Quentin meet? We actually don't know when we first met. Like, we met, he always says Zoe, we met definitely in ZLC, which is a school at Zoe, but, so church. But, like, I don't remember, I don't remember us first meeting but I rem I don't know why I remember this. Like I have this I've told you this before. I have such a vivid memory. My friend Kat has been in like vlogs and stuff, but I remember my first week of ZLC. We were at Blue Bottle talking and like he missed the first week of school or like the first day or something like that of school. First week, yeah. first week of the semester that I started. He was there before me. And uh, she was like talking about you being gone. Like, you know when you just have those random vivid memories that like literally mean nothing and you're like, I don't know why I remember that so well. And I remember like driving and us talking on Blue Bottle on Beverly and like that's like really all I remember. That's like it. But we didn't, I like, I don't know when we. I think when we were introduced, it was for sure like in a friend group, like in a circle or something. I don't remember like a first moment. Yeah, I don't remember when we first met, but um, we just went to school together for like... Like the first memory I have of you is that <laughs> there's a game, remember? We were playing a game called Mary Kiss Kill, and they were like, oh, out of these people in ZLC, who would you marry, who would you kiss, and who would you send away, right? And send like, away. Send away. I feel like kill's kind of harsh. <laughs> who would you send away? And who would you kiss? <laughs> Mary Mary kiss. kiss. Quentin is very wholesome and innocent. It's very sweet. <laughs> so, and there was somebody else who was like, oh, You should have just been in this video at this point, but yeah, sorry. I was like, behind the scenes. Yeah. I was like, oh, like, kiss so-and-so, and I was like, marry Kinsey, and they were like, oh, well, really? And I was like, yeah, literally from day one, I've always thought Kinsey was like, so grounded, like so brilliant. From day one, he's always been obsessed with me, is basically what he's saying. <laughs> so Quentin, yeah, we met in school. That's my first so memory. We, we met January of 2018. We started like, I mean, we had like hung out. Like we had, we spent Valentine's Day together. The, not together, like us two. But like, yeah, like not together, but. But we like, were. it was like us planning it, but not like, it was really so not like that. It wasn't like an anti-Valentine's Day party. No. It was like, that's so funny, it was very ironic. It was, it was like a, we had, basically Quentin loves the honey butter chicken biscuits and I made them for him like a year before that. And so he was like, okay, I want to do whatever. So like that was always how he wanted to hang out was because he wanted to like come over and we can make those. Because he basically just wanted an excuse to hang out with me. And so, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, but it was like Valentine's Day and we started it and then we invited a bunch of people. Ironically, and then the, the summer before that, your birthday. Yeah, you I, know, that, that's what I, I don't remember because you were at my 
birthday breakfast at the montage. I know. And I was like, and I was looking back on that, and I was like, I for sure met you obviously before that, but I was like. Well, wait, obviously, like, we went to school for a semester before that. It was so together. random. It was really random that I was there because we weren't, like, super, super tight. Cause it was because of our, we had, like, a mutual really close friend, and he did it, but it was, like, us and three people. I mean, it was at the montage. It was fun, but, yeah. So good. Really good. Is there anything that you regret doing or wish you would have done differently? I already said it, but I seriously do regret that. Like, you didn't really date, like you dated like one person. I See, like you can do life with that, like. It wasn't that I felt like I needed to date anyone, it was just that I like, did it. Yeah, there's you know? no reason, I mean, I was just like school and sports and I was like, I don't have time for this. He was just like, oh, Kinsey, you don't have time, you know. Um, okay, how different would your life be if you didn't move to LA? Very, very, very different. Yeah, I can't even what imagine. What would me? Oh my god. I know, what would you do? Um, I'm crying, I'd be alone. I literally can't imagine. Okay. Um, also, that'd be crazy, because then like, what would be, I love you so much, the podcast. It's true. How to get out of bad friendships slash relationships and how to move on after. Relationships, just break up with them. Um, friendships, I feel like it's harder. I don't know, it depends. I think. Do you have good advice? Thinking. What, ending a friendship? Or yeah, a ending a bad relationship. I feel like just do it very, be kind, stay sweet, don't talk bad about them. You can just distance yourself. Like, not everything has to be like a really cutthroat, like, I hate you, whatever. But I feel like just like in a healthy way, you can distance yourself. Don't talk bad about them. That only makes you look bad. Like, it yeah. makes you look so bad. Be wary of that person. If they're like, oh, like, so-and-so is crazy. Like, that person's probably crazy. Yeah, exactly. Have you always had the same confidence you have now? How do you reach the maximum? I feel like I used to be more confident than I am now. I feel like I'm kind of back to that. I recorded an entire podcast episode on this. Um, it's not really about being, like, physically confident, but just, like, overall confident. Um... That's up, so check it out. I'll have it linked down below. Relationship advice you can give for those currently in one. I have like literally no advice. I feel like our relationship is really good because of Quentin. Like not because I'm not good, but I feel like you're just like really good at it. And let, most of the time, you know? When I'm hangry, I'm a different person. Yeah, that's really true. You just don't need to talk to him. I think just get to know them the best that you can. You know, if you're in a relationship, I think it's all about, like, you're obviously investing time in that, like, get to know them. Like, Kinsey's never seen it, but I have a note on my phone. Like, I just, like, keep little things that, like, she says or, like, that I think, well, when she says she values something or says she thinks something's really cool or important or she says something, I just, like, take note of it sometimes. He, like, like actually has a note on his phone that says Ken's, but he, like, <laughs> won't let me see it. So, yeah, I think just get to know them, and I think, I mean, there are, I always say this, but, like, layers. Like, Kenzie and I were, like, best friends, but she's my girlfriend, but also, like, we work really well together. Like, I think, in, I mean, whether we're, like, serving at church or, like, whatever that looks like, I feel like we're just, like, a good team when we think well together and stuff. So, I think just get to know them the best you can, and just, yeah, go from there. Just be that word, intentional. Intentional. That's good, Q. And then the last question, I get a lot of questions because I made it such a big deal when we were talking about the whole like in feed commitment thing. And I was like, I'll never post a boy on my stuff or like anything like that. And one, I was kind of just being dramatic. And two, at the time I like wasn't dating someone. So it was like, it, like I didn't know how I would kind of handle that. I feel like in the past, like since like high school, I haven't like really posted relationships as a have I? I don't even know what I posted. Basically, bottom line, Quentin and I were talking about this last night. One, it would be literally impossible to vlog my life without Quentin being in it because Quentin's a very big part of it and we're together all the time. Two, it's like our relationship isn't necessarily online. Like you see Quentin on my vlogs and it's like that's my boyfriend but it's not like this is like a boyfriend tag. Like our relationship is like shown whatever. Like the like the like not like intimate but the like what's the word I'm looking for maybe it is like the I think well first I'm not a boy I'm a man okay be, 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 be. okay kidding all right really. I'm so sorry second I would say yeah what you're saying like the special moments like I think I mean like there are certain like like if you're at a concert or you have like a or you share a special moment with somebody like you're not always gonna take pictures like 
those moments are meant to be shared by like, two people and stuff. So yeah, I think we have a lot of like cool moments. Like I think ninety nine percent of like our relationship is not on camera, obviously, but on mine. Like a lot, you guys see a lot of my life, but it's not like I don't feel like I'm like throwing a relationship out there. If that makes sense, but Quentin's on it as my boyfriend because like we literally I wouldn't be able to film because we're together that much and it would just be it's more annoying to keep him off than whatever and yeah that's pretty much it I remember when we first started talking Quentin's like I remember I feel like we talked about this and you were like I don't even like being on camera or something like I don't even want to be on camera and I was like yeah right like I knew in my head I was like that is what? such a lie no I said no I said I don't it doesn't bother me I said, I, I'm for you, I like you, so if this is what you do, then yeah, I'm in it. Quentin would be equally as supportive of me if I was like an accountant, so it really doesn't this is like... true. Yeah. I'd be like, punch those numbers, girl. <laughs> yeah. So, anyways, that is it for my Q&A of today. We're going to eat pizza, watch a Christmas movie. Hope you guys have enjoyed our chill Saturday. What's your favorite Christmas movie? Put it in the secret <laughs> Facebook group. Guys, at this point, I'm so sorry he wasn't just in the vlog or in the Q&A because I'm sure it was kind of weird to like basically to watch this. Me also, I don't know why this is a focusing. Also, I'm so sorry that I haven't posted my super secret garlic bread formula. But by the time this vlog is up, it'll be up in the secret Facebook but I just group. That was my tripod, by the way. Formal apology. I'm sorry. He's so sorry. That's going up, and then the best restaurants to visit in LA. I'll put a few up there. Thank but you. I'll log in as Kinsey because she won't let me log. Yeah, he's absolutely not getting into the Facebook group, but he can post from my account. <laughs> Maybe start a petition. Who knows? Maybe. No. Uh -huh. <laughs>